Hey guys, welcome to day four. Today is a HIIT workout. We're going to be working in true HIIT style. We're going to go 30 seconds of work followed by a full 30 seconds of rest. So you could really recover from that exercise to pound it out again. All right, you need your dumbbell, just one. I'm gonna use one 15 pounder and believe it or not, you need a pillow. We're gonna be working on some transfer of power with that pillow today. So grab something off the couch, off your bed, something you don't care if it gets dirty, throw it on the ground, and you're gonna need some space and some water. All right, guys, let's get warmed up. All right, guys, starting with that mobility warm up. Pull those shoulders down and let's roll the head around, stretching out the sides of the neck, the back and the neck, not pushing through anything that's uncomfortable, just trying to get loose here. Just like we did on day two, we're gonna end with some mobility drills. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back and down. Big shrug up, back and down. Trying not to flare that rib cage here, trying not to arch that back, stay engaged. Big shrug up, shoulders back and down. We're gonna go ahead and reverse that circle now, so rolling forward. I'm trying not to round my back here either, just moving from the shoulders. And now I'm gonna roll it all the way forward. All the way down, slide it down, and then roll it all the way up. Shoulders back and down, stand tall, repeat. All the way down, and all the way up. Again, rolling down, and rolling it up. One more time, roll it down and roll it up, shoulders back and down. Push those knees apart here, decompress. <sighs> Relaxing my core a little bit to deepen that decompression of the low back, the SI joint. <sighs> Should feel good. <sighs> Couple more seconds here. Good, and now we're gonna just rock it side to side so you can turn those toes a little further forward or if you want, you can turn them out, whatever feels good for you today. And we're just rocking side to side. When you feel warm enough, you're gonna get lower into it. Just moving what feels good for you today. You can use those hands to assist if you'd like. And then go ahead and straighten those legs out. Get ready for that big circle all the way up and then down and around. Back the opposite way. Big circle. Turn yourself into a big old clock here. Make sure you're breathing. This one always gets me out of breath. I think because I'm always talking all the way through it. Meet me in center here. Hang for just a second. And then heel toe it together. And then roll it up nice and slow. Shoulders back and down, stand tall. We're gonna roll it back down, walk it out to plank. Roll it down and walk it out. Nice strong plank, hang for a second, and walk it back up. There go all the pops and cracks in my shoulders. Standing tall, roll it down again. Walk it out, bringing one foot up and out to the side. Rock and roll for just a second, and then we'll open up here. Hold for just a few seconds. And then bring the hand back in, feet together, and we'll walk it up. 
roll it up. Shoulders back and down. Good, same thing, other side, roll it down. Walk it out. Opposite foot comes up, out to the side. Rock and roll for a second. Rass in here. And then we open up. Breathing here. Careful that you're not collapsing into that shoulder. And then bring it back together, feet together. And we'll walk it up. Get out of here, grass. Dead grass, because I brought my battle ropes through here and I had them at the park. Now there's grass everywhere. Roll it down. Walk it out. Adding whatever you want here. You can drop your hips. You can do whatever feels good for you today. And when you're ready for it, come all the way back up, roll it up, shoulders back and down, stand tall. I'm gonna step back, reach it up. Step back, push the hips forward, reach it up. Oh, I just felt my triceps, mine are sore, and dive forward. You guys got your triceps yesterday? Oh my God. And back again, push the hips forward and diving forward one more just like that push and dive it down and uh, bring that back foot down to meet the other and we'll roll it up shoulders back and down stand tall opposite side stepping back push the hips forward and dive down squeeze and lift back again and diving down squeeze lift back again dive it down squeeze lift and lower that leg down roll it up stand tall shoulders back and down let's squat push and squeeze here we go push squeeze the shoulder blades together again push squeeze push squeeze really focus on standing tall squeezing those shoulder blades together when you come down into your squat Make sure those knees aren't falling in. You're gripping the floor with your entire foot and the back is flat. Two more here, down, squeeze, down, and squeeze. Press overhead, up, squeeze down. Press up, squeeze down. Get those biceps right next to the ears without arching that back, without flaring that rib cage. <sighs> rib cage over hips. Two more. Up, down. Last one here. <sighs> Press, bring it down. Shuffle the feet, roll the wrists. We do have quite a bit of burpees today. <laughs> so, looks okay. No, not that many, like three, that's it. Stretch them a little extra if you want, but they're fun burpees. There's no regular burpees. Very rarely do we do regular stuff, right? It's always the basics, but with a little Caitlin spin because we get bored. Or at least I get bored. Maybe you don't, I do. All right, switching now to more of a run or a quick jog. Bring those arms into it. A few more seconds here, then we're gonna switch to a sprint. Go ahead, switch it now. High knees, we're moving fast. Belly button pulled in, 
your breathing. Switch it now. Jumping jacks. A few more seconds here, guys. And let it relax. Shoulders back and down, chest proud. We are ready to work out. All right, guys, our first circuit is with the pillow. We've got four exercises to get through. We're gonna do each one twice before we move on to the next. I've got a cute pillow from my bed and I'm going to beat the crud out of it today. In 20 seconds, I'm gonna slam the pillow down. And I'm gonna pop it out into plank for a burpee. I'm gonna punch it, punch it, come back up and come back down. We go in five seconds. Two, here we go. Down, punch, punch, back up to jump. Back down, punch, punch. Don't punch so hard to where you're punching through the pillow. This is more about that one arm plank than anything else. A little bit of explosive power while we're down. 10. Make sure you're breathing. Two. Woo. Rest. You've got a full 30 seconds to recover here. And we'll do that one again. Breathe. I want you to be recovered or just about by the time we do this again. So you're standing tall, shoulders back and down. Don't ruin your posture here. In five, we do it again. Three, here we go. Down, punch, punch, up. Think about that exhale. Every time you punch. Try not to wiggle the hips a ton. When you're punching. Five seconds. Good. All right, that exercise checked off the list. Next exercise, I'm gonna slam my pillow down on the ground repeatedly. 15 seconds. You literally just slam it down, pick it up, slam it down. Think about getting down into a squat each time. Push the knees apart. Here we go. Reach overhead, slam it down. I've got loud pillow, loud flooring here. 20. 15. 10. Eight, five, two. Breathing here. We're doing that again. Think about using all your power in your body to slam that down. Focus on the lats and the legs and the core. That one sneaks up on you. 10 seconds till we slam it again. In five. Here we go. Big exhale as you slam it down. I'm catching that pillow before it bounces away. 15. 10, five, three, breathe. We're moving on. We're gonna go for really quick push jacks with the pillow. I'm gonna push that pillow out in front, whip it back in. We go in 10 seconds. 
Two rounds here. Pillows at the chest. Push it out as you jack the feet out. Here we go. I'm trying to move as fast as I can here. Whip it out. Whip it back in. 15. Halfway. No, over halfway. It's not 20, it's 30. Five. Two. Rest. Breathing here. Doing that one more time. It's quite different than our last hit workout. Tabata style, we exhaust a lot quicker. With this style, we actually get to really recover and pound it out again. We go again in five, three, here we go. Twenty seconds, nice and quick with the feet, quick with the arms. Might even start to feel a burn. Ten. Five. Three. Woo! And rest. All right, we're coming all the way down. I'm gonna do a sit up with a pillow toss. So every time I sit up, I'm gonna throw my pillow in the air, catch it, roll down, repeat. We go in 15 seconds, breathe. 10, let's get ready for it. I'm gonna roll it up using some momentum, chuck that pillow up, catch it. Here we go, up. It's okay if you drop your pillow. Just laugh about it. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale to come up. Seven. And rest. Breathing here. Doing that one more time, and then we move to our dumbbell circuit. We go in 15 seconds, get ready for it. You can lay it down, take a little nap. We're going all out in eight. Three. Here we go. If you extend your legs out, a little longer it's easier to roll up off the ground i don't want you doing a flat back sit up i want you to roll up and roll down no holding breath if you can't even get off the ground just do the best you can right sit up as far as you can two All right, guys, come up nice and slow. Pillow out of the way, and we're moving into our dumbbell circuit. So go ahead and grab your dumbbell. Pillow can go away for now. What we're gonna do first is a pull through burpee. So I'll pop it out to plank, reach through, pull the dumbbell across, just like we did on day one, but instead of just going to the other side, I'm gonna pop it up, jump, pop it back out, pull through opposite side. So pull it through, burpee, down, pull it through the other direction. We reach through, pull it across. In 10 seconds, guys. In five, three, here we go. Out, pull it through, jump. Back down, pull it through, jump. Don't jump on your dumbbell. Reaching through, pull it across. 
You've got about 10 more seconds. Three. Good. Doing that one more time. Breathing here. Same thing. Popping it out, reaching through. Burpee, repeat. We go in 10, five, three, here we go. Out, reach, yes, 20 seconds left. all the way through, pull it across. How's it going, guys? Three. Yeah. Okay, next exercise. We've got a jump squat snatch. So I'm gonna bend down, snatch it up, bring it back down, Jump squat, opposite arm, snatch, down, jump squat. A little coordination challenge for you. In five. Here we go. Down, snatch, down, jump, other side. Repeat. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Three. Rest. Same thing, one more time. My legs are burning a little. Breathing here. Recovering here. Do it again in 15. Ready? You got five seconds until we start. Three. Here we go. Snatch, down, jump. Dumbbell peels right in front of the body to whip it up overhead using momentum from the entire body. It's not your shoulders. 10, a little bit of shoulder. Five, two, ah. rest. All right, we're gonna come down into a narrow squat. Take the dumbbell off the floor, toss it to the other side. As deep as you can before the back starts around or your knees fall in. Woo, I can breathe. We go in 10 seconds. In five, two, here we go. Down, up and over. 25 seconds, so you don't have to go all the way down to the floor, whoops, unless you can. 15, 10, eight, three, don't round that back. Rest. One more time. This is practice for if you're, if you're at the airport, you need to pick up your suitcase, quickly toss it to the other hand. Functional fitness right here. I've never had to do that. Does anyone? Probably, now that we know how to do it. Very small suitcase though. Five seconds. Three. Here we go. Toss it up and over. 
Think about exhaling every time you come up and pass it over. 15. 10. Five. Burning legs. Two. Rest. Dumbbell comes down to the ground. I want you to hug it with your feet here. I'm gonna roll down, roll up, throw a jab cross, nice and quick. Exhale, exhale, roll it back down. We go in 10 seconds. We got it. Make sure I haven't turned my microphone off because I hit it like a million times with my dumbbell. Three. Here we go. Down, up. We're rolling down and rolling up. Belly button pulled in. Think about exhaling to come up and throw those punches. Eight seconds. Three. Rest. Doing that again. And we move into our final hit circuit, which is all body weight, which you know means it's going to be hard. 18 seconds until we start here. Enjoy your rest. Recover so you can really nail the last circuit of this. Think about pulling that belly button in. You've got to breathe. We go in three. Here we go. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. And make some noise when you throw the punches. 10 more seconds. Seven. Five. Two. Rest. All right, coming up nice and slow for our last circuit of hit. Dumbbell out of the way. Quick sip if you need it. Like I said, this is your body weight circuit, so you don't need any equipment for this last um, eight minutes of exercise. I'm sorry, yeah, it is eight minutes, but you have resting half that time, so you're welcome. All right, our first exercise is a burpee to a squat hold. So I'm gonna pop it down uh, out to plank, pop it back into a squat, and then pop it out again all the way up for a burpee. All right, so we're just alternating between a squat hold and a regular burpee. We got it, we go in 10 seconds. This is gonna be so much fun. Five seconds until we start. Pop it out, into squat, out, all the way up. Out, into the squat, out, up to jump. We got it. Into that squat. 15 seconds. Ten. Five. Woo! Okay, my legs were burning. We're doing that again. Taking a second here. We're 30 to recover. 20 seconds left here. Breathing. We're doing that squat burpee again. In eight. Five, three, here we go. Down, squat, down, jump. Squat, 20, 
Oh, I'm moving slower this time. 10 seconds. Two. Ah! Oh my God, my body quit on me there. All right, next exercise. I'm gonna reach up, try to touch the ceiling or the cupboard, something high up, the wall, over and over. I'm gonna start with my left arm up. The next round, I'll do my right. In five. Two, here we go. I want you to pretend you're trying to tap something. For me, the wall, my plant, find something high up that you're trying to get. 15. Ten. Five. Get up there if you can. Three. Rest. Opposite arm. I can talk. Opposite arm is working. 20 seconds of recovery here. I find that it, I like this exercise better when I've got a goal, when I've got something to touch. So if you've got a doorway, try to hit the, the wall above the doorway. It's fun, five seconds. Three, opposite hand is up now. Try to get up nice and high. You are just about halfway and you get higher and faster. 10, eight, three, breathe. All right, we're gonna switch, switch, switch the feet, drop into a squat, do a 180 jump squat. So you're facing the opposite direction. Switch, 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 drop, Jump, face the other way. It's gonna be fun. We're almost done. This is last of the heavy cardio. We've got um, some abs to do. And then we got mobility. Three. Here we go. Switch, 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 drop. 180. Move nice and quick with me. You are just about halfway. Ten seconds. Three. Breathe. One more time. <clears throat> Twenty seconds. If you really need to recover here, you can come down, hands on the knees. Otherwise, keep those shoulders pulled back. Three, don't hunch it over. Here we go. Down, jump. Quick, quick, quick. Switch the feet. You're halfway here. Ten. <clears throat> Woo! Ah! Rest. We're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna do a multi-level side plank. I'm gonna start by opening up to one side, so pick a direction, then we'll do the opposite next time. So if we all open up to our left first, we'll open up to our right the second circuit here. You'll see why when we do the second round. 
here we go. From plank, open up to your left, roll to the right, down to the elbow, open, and other side, open, all the way up, open, staying up, open, down, open, other side, open, all the way up, open, 10 seconds, down, five, up, two, good. Now we're gonna open over to the right. So enjoy your rest here. My whole body is like, ah. After this, we've got our mobility. Try to keep that booty out of the air. 10 seconds. We'll come into plank, open to the right. Five, get ready. Two, here we go. Open to the right, roll to the left. All the way down and switch. All the way up, other side. All the way down, other side. All the way up, woo! Other side, all the way down, all the way down. Up three and rest. Oh, okay, guys, we are done with the hit. Go ahead, stay down, and we'll move into our mobility work. Quick sip of water if you want it. We're going to do a very similar. Um, mobility cool down that we did on day one, two, 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 day two. I know what I'm talking about. Day two, except I'm going to intensify uh, one of the moves and I'm going to add another move. So we're going to start with that alternating thread the needle coming onto all fours, spreading those knees just a bit wider than hip width so you can kind of open up a bit here. And we'll open, here we go. Open here, and then thread it through. Coming back up, other side. Opening here, threading through. Back up, other way. Just do the best you can. Remember, you're not forcing anything. Take your time where you feel like you need it. Twenty seconds left here. Fifteen seconds. Five. Three. All right, so the other day we did a modified body wave here where we kind of came from child's pose. Today, you can do that again, or you can go full. So from child's pose, I'm gonna straighten my legs out and then roll all the way through to kind of this upward dog here. And then I'm gonna roll back the way I came. If you need to, you can modify by staying on the knees just like we did the other day. Whatever floats your boat today, guys. All the way through. You got 20 seconds left here. You can always go back to the modified version. Five. Rest, we're gonna go into that Cossack squat fold. So I'm gonna bring myself up here, reach through, and then drop it off to one side. Hang out here, come back up, pull it through, drop it off to the other side. Thirty more seconds. 
take your time wherever you want. I like to kind of pull myself under. I don't force it, but I like to exaggerate it a bit. Three. Good, I'm gonna bring myself into like a shin box here or a 90-90. I'm gonna hang here. And then without using my hands, I'm gonna to try to roll off to the other side. Good. If you need a little assistance, you can bring those hands back and behind to make the switch. But if you can, sit up nice and tall and roll through it. 20 seconds, just kind of greasing those hip joints. 15, 10, five. Remember you can always bring the hands back. Two, rest, bring the legs out in front of you. We're gonna go for a little swim and this we will finish off here today. Here we go. Opening up. Swim to that opposite toe. Oh, I am stiff today. Big swim. Reach. I want you to tone those quads, right? Flex the feet. Try to make a big circle. Keeping that shoulder plugged in. So we're working on those shoulders as well. Reaching across. Eight more seconds. You might even feel your core fired up here. Yay! We did it, you guys. Day four is done. You have one workout left and it is a really fun one. It is our lengthen, strengthen, and mobilize workout. So we're going to be combining some mobility drills, some cardio drills, and some strength drills. It is a really fun way to get the body moving and a little fusion, a little fun. You're going to love it, guys. All right, go eat something, drink some water, probably take a shower because y'all stink. And I love you and I will see you for day Bye.